Hello everyone, it's Red Saber here from Saber C++, and today we're going to be learning about how to make moving LED patterns like this one with these RGB LED strips. Let's get started. We already wired this up in a previous video, but basically we just have a wire from the 5 volt port to this red one, from port 2 to this green one, and from a ground port to this white one over here. Alright, so this is the program that we created in the last video about these LED strips. At the top, we imported the fast LED library. Then we declared variables for the pin we connected the data line of the LEDs to, the number of LEDs we have, the brightness of the LEDs from 0 to 64, the type of the LEDs, in my case it was WS2812, the color order, in my case GRB, and then we could declared an array, which is the length of num LEDs, and which basically holds all of the color values for all of the LEDs. So when we run the fastled.show function, it'll take the values from the LEDs array and put them onto the actual LEDs on our strip. Then we added the LEDs on the appropriate pin and type and everything to our fast LED object and we set the brightness to the proper color. Down here we were messing around with some color correction stuff, but we can just go ahead and delete that unless you want to correct the color, and we'll start our new program. Up at the top here, I'm going to create a const int, short for constant integer, which means a number that can't change, called pattern length, and I'll set it to 3. Then I'm going to create an array of CRGB values, which I will call pattern, and which will be set to the length of pattern length. And basically, this will be what our comet looks like. So this pattern, uh, in this case, will have a bright red LED, followed by a slightly dimmer LED, followed by a very dim LED. So it'll sort of look like a comet with a slightly dimmer tail as it tapers off. Then we'll run our program and move that comet down the RGB LED strip. So it'll look like we have a comet going around or up or down or whatever the right word is, our LED strip. So to create this, we'll create a pair of braces and inside we'll enter the values for our comet or pattern. It doesn't have to be a comet after all. So the first value I'll create will be straight red, 25500. Then I'll create another one, which will be a dimmer red, 15500. And then an even dimmer red, which will be 5500. It's important to make sure that we have the same number of values, in this case CRGB values, as the length of our array, which is in this pattern length variable. Otherwise, our program will give us an error, and we'll need to adjust it. In the loop function, let's create a for loop with an integer called comet LED, which will go from 0 to the number of LEDs that we have. And basically, this LED will tell us which LED is currently the head of the comet, or the start of the pattern. So the start of the pattern will start at 0, and we'll continue until the pattern reaches the end of the LED strip. Inside of this loop, we'll want to loop through all of the LEDs with an integer called current LED, once again going from 0 to the number of LEDs. And this loop will allow us to set each LED to whatever value it should be. So if the Comet LED minus the current LED is less than the pattern length, then that means that the current LED is inside of the pattern, because the pattern starts at the comet LED and continues backwards for as long as the pattern length is. We also want to check if the comet LED minus the current LED is actually valid, or if it's greater than zero. Because remember, the head of the comet will start at zero, the, or the first LED, and when the head of the comet is the first LED, obviously there's no LEDs to turn on behind the comet. So we don't want to cause an error by trying to access the value of the array at negative one or something like that. So if we have a valid LED that's inside the pattern, then we want to set the LED in this LEDs array to be the value of the pattern at this position which we'll get by once again doing the comet LED minus the current LED. Otherwise, if this isn't in the pattern, then we just want to go ahead and set the LED at the current LED position to be black, which is off. 
then outside of the current LED loop, but inside of the comet LED loop, so basically every time the comet is moved to a new position, we want to run the fastled.show function, which will light up our LEDs that need to be lit up and turn off the other ones, based on this setup here. We'll also want to delay for a short time, I'll do 50 milliseconds, to change the speed of our comet. So obviously, as you delay for longer times, it'll make your comet slower, and if you delay for shorter times, it'll make it faster. I found 50 to be a pretty good balance. Alright, let's try it out. As you can see, we now have a red comet moving around our LED strip. Let's try adding multiple colors to our comet and making it longer. Before we do, if this video has been helpful to you so far, please give it a like. Thanks! Since we created a pattern length variable, we can easily change the items in our array and the pattern length, and our program will work as intended. So I'll change my pattern length to 5, and then I'll adjust the values in the array and add two more. So I'm going to set the first value to yellow, which is 255, 255, 0. Then I'll set the second value to a slightly dimmer yellow, which will be 200, 200, 0. Then I'll set the third value to more of an orange, which will be 200, 100, 0. Then I'll create a fourth value, which I'll set to be a dimmish red, orange, somewhere in between, I don't know, uh, 100, 10, 0. And then I'll create a final value, which will be a very dim red, 50, 0, 0. So there you go. We can see that we're fading from a yellowish into a reddish, but at each step, we're making sure it gets dimmer, so it'll still look like a comet. Let's try it out. And now we have a yellow comet that fades into red for its tail. The best part is you can change the pattern to whatever you want, as long as you set the pattern length to match the items you put in the pattern array. It doesn't even have to be a comet at all. You can create anything you want. If you create something you'd like to share, throw it on our Discord server. The link is in the description. If you'd like to learn more about RGB LED strips, check out the other links in the description, or visit my channel for lots of tutorials about Arduino sensors and modules. Thanks for watching.